I think today is a good day to play with makeup. What do you think? Welcome in, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything beauty, fitness, and lifestyle for the over 50 and over 60 women. I'm so glad you stopped by today. It's a makeup day. I think we all need just a little bit of peaceful, quiet time. We'll play with makeup. Nothing deep. It'll just be relaxing. If you're new here, welcome in. I'm so glad you stopped by. I hope you'll consider subscribing while you're here and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you want all the good stuff, you might want to consider signing up for my Sunday morning email newsletter. The link is in the description box down below. It's becoming famous. It's one of the most popular things about my channel. Every Sunday morning I send out a very short, very sweet, very free email newsletter highlighting all the cool things I found throughout the week. Maybe it's a good sale or a great piece of information or something that I think it's important for all of us to know. Whatever I find during the week that I think is worth sharing goes in that Sunday morning email newsletter. I think you're going to love it. The link is in the description box down below. It's super fun, super free. It's going to be a fun part of your Sunday morning. Editing Kimberly here. Well, we're going to have a little bit of fun today. <laughs> at my expense. During this makeup video, I somehow ended up with a floof on the end of my nose. A floof. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> and you're probably wondering, well, why didn't you take it off? Because I didn't know it was there. When I'm doing these makeup videos, my mirror is so far away from me so I can film. I'm just about doing my makeup by Braille. <laughs> So I have a floof on the end of my nose during this video. It looks ridiculous. It totally does. But I decided, you know, let's just lean into it and have a little bit of fun. So here's what we're going to do. While you're watching the video, when you detect the floof on the end of Kimberly's nose, type a comment in the comment section below with the timestamp that the floof showed up and you can go ahead and try to tell me what you think the floof is and how the floof got there. Just have fun with it. And what I'm going to do is everyone who is a floof detective is going to be in the drawing, in a drawing, for a little goodie box from me. I will have my assistant go through all the comments. And you can try to get our attention by being funny or clever or something like that. But I'll have my assistant pick someone out of the comment section and we'll send you a really, really nice goodie box. It will be a good goodie box. <laughs> so, anywho, I look ridiculous, but there we have it. So, good luck and on with the show. Today I'm trying an oldie but goldie. At least it's an oldie but goldie for me. And I'm not sure if you've ever tried this. It is the Bare Minerals Original Foundation. Do you guys remember this? Gosh, this came up when I was in my early 50s. And it was a real big thing because it was so very different than what we had experienced with foundation before. I was kind of thinking back to those days and how easy it was to apply this because goodness knows I'm not wearing makeup up that much anymore and when I do it better be quick and it better be easy and it better look natural. So I went ahead and ordered this and you know what? I've tried it just once before. It looked so very pretty. At least I thought so. So I thought we'd go ahead and do a makeup look with this Bare Minerals Original Foundation today. I'll talk a little bit more about it when we get to that step in the makeup routine. I do want to let you know that I also ordered one of their blushes and oh my gosh, I think you're really going to be impressed with how pretty this looks. So this this is kind of the focus of today, the Bare Minerals line. It's been around for a while. It's not drugstore, but it's not super expensive either. And it, gosh, it just almost lasts forever. So let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to do just a very neutral, sophisticated, subtle makeup look today. I think it's going to come out really pretty. As you can see, I've done my skincare. It's just about absorbed into my skin, but my lips are super dry. So I'm going to take my City Beauty. This is their clear plumping lip gloss. I love the line of City Beauty lip glosses. They're really, really beautiful. And I'm sure they're going to be having some amazing sales over the holiday season, which is when I stock up. When they do the BOGO for the City Lips, that's when I put in my big order. And that kind of lasts me until the next BOGO sale. So this is the clear. It sits on my lips and it's just going to hydrate my lips and kind of plump them up while I do my makeup. Where I'm going to start today is I'm going to take my Jones Road pencil. This is in the lighter color. And see how I'm running it around just that real 
deep purple area underneath my eyes. You know, I had a little cold and I think it has just exacerbated the dark circles under my eyes. So that's why I'm doing a little bit more coverage today. And I'm just going to tap that in with my finger. My face is still really hydrated from my morning skincare. It hasn't completely absorbed in yet. So it looks pretty glowy and, you know, pretty fresh. Now I'm going to take the Catrice. This is their under eye brightener. I really love this. Very, very affordable. And I'm just going to pat that underneath my eyes right over that Jones Road. And you can see that it's done a lot to take away that kind of dark circle look underneath my eye. Now I'm going to use the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. This is very good. It's also very expensive. I don't think you need to pay this much for a primer, but I've got it and I'm going to use it. <laughs> so I put probably way too much on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to dot that around my face and pat it in. Now it's the MAC Paint Pot and the Color Painterly. This is so close to my skin tone that I'll often wear this on my eyelids. When I'm not really doing makeup, maybe just a tiny bit of blush or something like that, this just helps to cover up the discoloration on my lids on the no makeup days. And today I'm using it as eyeshadow primer. Even though this is a little more higher end product, the use by use is so affordable. It really does last forever. Look at how much I still have in this and I've had it for over a year. This is the Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil in the color Blonde. It's okay. You know, it's good enough. It's not my favorite. Hostess is my favorite, but I've got this and I'm going to use it up. It is a nice price, so if you're looking for a good, affordable brow pencil, this could be a good choice. And with my brows, I really like to focus at the beginning of my makeup on that bottom line because that's really going to help define my eyeshadow area and then I'll go back towards the end of my makeup and do any little detail work on my brows before, you know, I wrap things up. I'm going to do a real neutral eye look today with the Tartlet and Bloom palette. This is just a really nice neutral palette. You can put together just about any neutral look you want from this. A lot of the colors are matte, which is all I wear these days, so it's nice for me. I'm going to go ahead and dip my brush into this cream color right here, and that's going to go underneath the eye. I'm not going to do it real heavy because that's really light. I just want to highlight that brow bone area a little bit. And I'm using the Angie 503 brush. This is about the only brush I've been using lately just because my eye looks have been so very simple and easy. Now I'm going to dip into this taupey shade right here using the same brush. Get a lot of product on my brush. I'm going to tap it off and then I'm going to place that right on the outside corner of my eye and work it over. And notice I'm holding the brush at the very end. I don't want to grab it and have a lot of pressure on it. I want a very, very light grip on it so that it really glides that shadow on very softly. Same thing on the other eye. Load the product on the brush, place it in that outside corner of the transition area, and just start working it over. So that's it for the eyeshadow look today. Super easy, super simple, very, very neutral. I think it's just a soft, sophisticated look. So on to the complexion, and I did pick up this Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Concealer. Now, of all the products from Bare Minerals I'm going to use today, this probably is not my favorite. I used it once before, and it just didn't seem to hit all the bells for me or hit all the buttons, whatever. First of all, I'm not really crazy about the delivery system. It's just a squeezy tube. I wish that it had like a thinner tip or it was a paddle or something. It's just not my favorite. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and it's really, really hard to get the small enough amount out. So I don't know, just not my favorite. So I'm just going to get a little bit on my finger here and I'm going to start working that in underneath my eye and I'll have the color of this listed in the description box down below along with everything else I'm using today. It has almost a yellowy undertone which I'm kind of liking for my skin tone lately but I don't know you guys I just think this delivery system isn't the best that it could be. So now I'm going to take my damp sponge and I'm just going to work that back and forth and you can see I'm kind of cleaning up my eyeshadow area with that sponge any product that went down below this line, I want to clean up so that it doesn't drag my eye down. So I'm not going to set that. I'm going to actually set it with the Bare Minerals Foundation. And you're going to see this. If you're not familiar with this product, 
it really is kind of fun and kind of different. It's actually a powder foundation, but there's some kind of magical voodoo in it that creates such a beautiful filter on your face. You need so very little of the foundation, just a little tiny shake into the lid. That's how I do it. And it does cover your whole face. So we'll get started with that in just a second. But what I want to do now is I want to take one of my Jones Road pencils. This is a little bit darker than the one that I used underneath my eyes. And I'm going to go around and hit a few areas on my face that need just a little bit more coverage to kind of make sure that I have all my little doodads covered up. A little bit on the end of my nose, a little bit on my chin. Okay, so the way that this works is that it's a sifter system in the top of this foundation. And you just turn it to open it up. And you can see then the little holes are open right there. This is such a fun foundation. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to tap just a little bit into the lid. I'm going to show you, see if I can see that right there. That's as much as I'm going to start with. I'm probably going to do two coats of this foundation. It looks like it's very, very little, but it's amazing how far it goes. So I'm going to take a big fluffy brush. This is the 103 from BK Beauty. I'm going to swirl it around in the lid and get all that product distributed on that brush. And then I'm just going to start lightly dusting it over my face. And it's amazing how your face and your complexion will just start evening out and glowing up as you move this around and start working it in. So that's one pass with the foundation. It really is very very pretty. So I'm going to tap out just about the same amount as I did last time into the lid. I'm going to take that big fluffy brush and I'm going to swirl it around so that that product works into all the bristles of that brush. And then I'm just going to start lightly dusting that around my face. I wore this out the other evening and oh my gosh, it just looked so pretty on the skin. A little bit glowy, very, very sheer, very natural looking. It's a windy day today. Can you hear my chimes? I can hear them in the backyard. I don't know if the microphone is picking it up, but it sounds fun. It's sounds so sweet to have the chimes going. Okay, so I hope you guys can see it on camera just how very pretty this looks. Now I'm wearing the color fairly light because I'm fairly light. <laughs> Even though I get in the sun, try to on a daily basis, I don't get my face in the sun. So my face stays fairly light throughout the year. And I just think that looks so pretty and so natural. Just a nice little glow. Really do love it. I'm so glad that I picked this up. I hadn't used it, gosh, in, well, clearly over probably 13 years or something, and I love it just as much as I used to. For bronzer today, I'm using the Jones Road bronzer. I really do like this. You know, as scathing a review as I gave for a lot of their products, there's some other products that I really, really love. This is in medium, and oh my gosh, here's the tricky thing about this bronzer is getting a tiny enough amount on the back of your hand. And it really goes such a long way. It's kind of a creamy gel. So I'm going to start up here and then cut in the cheekbones. It really does look beautiful on the skin. And then I'm going to take the rest and go under my chin. Stipple brush. And I'm just going to start working that bronzer in. And I always like to make sure that I work it into my hairline so that I don't have like a line of bronzer sitting on top of my face. So I try to work it in just a little bit. It just looks so natural and so pretty. Next up is the Bare Minerals. This is their Glow Blush Illuminator. This looks so subtle, but it is so very beautiful. This is in the color Rose Glow. Let me show it to you right here. It almost looks like it's not going to show up on your skin, but when you put it on, it is so very, very pretty. It is almost like a blush and a highlighter all in one. So I'm going to take my blush brush swirl it around in that and watch when I put this on the skin. It's just so sophisticated and so soft, but so very pretty. Pretty. Can you see that? And it has a little bit of highlight to it. It looks so pretty. It might be a little subtle for the camera to pick up, but oh my gosh, in person, I really do like it a lot. If you're looking for just a very natural, very sophisticated look, this really does create that. So this is the Rose Glow Blush. Isn't that pretty? Mm, I love it. Now I'm a little glowy, clearly, but you know me. <laughs> 
<laughs> never enough glow. I'm going to go ahead and use the Jones Road highlighter. This is in the color, um, I can't read it. <laughs> I'll have it in the description box down below. Again, tiny, tiny little bit. I just put on too much. You can hardly get a tiny enough amount out. So I'm just gonna get a little bit on my finger. Just tap a little on the tops of my cheeks. Now I don't need a lot clearly because I'm already pretty glowy. And then I'm gonna take a little bit and just put that right on the tip of my nose and on the front of my cheeks where I didn't put any blush, just to give a little bit of glow. Now it looks overdone right now, I know that, but it's going to settle in and absorb in. It won't look that blatantly glowy in just a few minutes. Next up, I'm gonna take that sponge again and I'm gonna make sure that anything settling in my under eyes is tapped out and blend it in. Now I'm going to take my big fluffy refer brush and my hourglass setting powder in dim light. I'm going to swirl it around, get a whole bunch of product on my brush, tap it off, and then very lightly I'm going to go around and set my complexion. Time to curl the lashes. I've been using the Revlon Colorstay Liner to tight line, and actually, I'm liking it. It's not transferring, at least up to this point, I don't know if it will today, down to my lower lashes, and it seems to give me a nice dark line up there. So when I do this, I'm focusing on that area in between my lashes, not so much the skin, because I'm really trying to emphasize the bottom of the lash base there. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Base still loving this. I know so many people that absolutely love this. Drugstore price really makes your lashes look a lot longer and a lot fuller. Still loving the Big Bad Lash from Revlon. This is such a good mascara. I have found a few mascaras in the last, I don't know, several months that I really love. This is one of them. Super long, super full lashes. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? to set down my eyebrows, which I need to do because they can get pretty wild. I'm gonna use the NYX Thick It and Stick It. I'm not that crazy about it. I mean, it's okay. It's nothing you wanna run out and get. So I'm just going to brush that through my brows. This will hold them down for the day. I don't know, the formula is just a little too thick for me, but then they do say Thick It in the title, so. There we have it. For lipstick today, I'm going to be using a NYX lip liner in the color Natural and the color Kindness from BK Beauty. I'm not sure if I have tried this color yet. It might be a little bit pink for this look, but we're going to go ahead and give it a try and see how it looks. So I'm putting these on the back of my hand so you can see. So the lip liner is right here. The lipstick is here. You can see this might be a little bit pink, but let's go ahead and give it a whirl and see how it looks. Here's the lipstick. Here we have the finished look. I had a lot of fun with this today. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Let me talk a little bit about what I think is worth it and what I think you can probably just leave on the shelf. I am surprised at how much I love this. You know, I'd kind of forgotten about it over the years. I was introduced to it way before I was even paying any attention to makeup. I was running two businesses. I was busy, blah, blah, blah. This was a good fit for me back then. It's a super good fit for me now because the coverage is so sheer and so natural looking. I am just not wearing a lot of makeup. I've got the barefoot lifestyle here in Central Florida. This fits so well. If you're worried about a powder foundation making dry skin look drier, I really don't think you need to worry about that with this formula. There's some magical voodoo in here that makes it look so sheer, so glowy, just so very pretty. Again, I'm in fairly light. I do think this is a good value and a really good buy. Another huge hit for me is this blush. I just think it looks so pretty and so natural. The fact that it has just a little bit of glow in it, you guys know I like a glow. If you don't like a glow, you won't like this. But if you do, this color, this is Rose Glow. It is just really, really beautiful. I can't say that I've seen another blush out there that has this really pretty soft natural finish. Huge hit with me. 
This concealer, you know, not so much. It really did kind of collect in my under eyes. It just didn't have that good of a look. I don't like the application system or the delivery system at all. I can think you can probably leave this on the shelf. There's really nothing about this that I think is wonderful. The concealer that I'm really liking right now, super great. This is the Revlon Color Stay Skin Awaken Drugstore Price. I think this is a heck of a lot better buy than this. Big Bad Lash, can't say enough about this. I mean, look at my eyelashes. This is crazy big, long lashes. Drugstore price, super easy to find. I think you're gonna love this one. And the Kindness Lipstick, what do you guys think? Do you like the color? Is it too pink? I'm not sure that the peachy tone works. Maybe it does. You guys let me know in the comments below. I hope you found this little day of makeup fun and entertaining. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. You know, sometimes when the world gets a little bumpy, we just need a few minutes to get together, have a peaceful little time, and play with makeup. I hope you enjoyed it. I know that I did. You guys know it just tickles me when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that, and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything beauty, fitness, and lifestyle for the over 50 and over 60 woman. Make it a great day. Hold on to your peacefulness, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.